Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Good Morning Preschool. I miss Cindy, and it's nice to see you all this morning. I'd like to say a special welcome to Noah, who is Sophie Z's brother. Hi, Noah. Thanks for tuning in. And also to Josiah from Chicago. Hi, Josiah. I'm glad you're watching today. It's nice to see you. So let's sing our good morning song together. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with smiles on our faces. And this is the way to start a new day. Today is a new day. Yesterday was Easter Sunday. I hope you all had a very nice and blessed Easter. I had fun telling you the story a couple of times last week. Today, let's look at our calendar. We have our April, which is our month. And it is springtime. I'm so glad it's springtime. And we have lots of days, like we always do. Let's sing about them. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Bum, bum. Today is Monday. So here's Monday. Our month is April. And the number today is a big one. Number 13. A 1 and a 3 is 13. Let's count up to 13 together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is a big number. So that means that tomorrow is 14 and yesterday is 12. So today is Monday, April 13th and the year is 2020 and it is springtime. We're going to be talking a little bit about springtime today. We do have a special birthday this week. It's not until Thursday. My friend Matthew is going to be five on Thursday. So we'll look forward to that, Matthew. All right. We have a new letter today. Our letter today is the letter C. The letter C. Let me get my letter chart. Come on. There it is. All right. The letter C is a very easy one to make. Here is our uppercase C and our lowercase C. Now, this is the sound that the letter C makes. It makes two different sounds, like Cindy. It also makes the sound k, 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 like cat. So here's a cat for k, k, cat. And this is a car. That's that hard C sound, too. Car. So let's put your Sky Raiders in the sky. We're going to make a C. Around. It's like an O, but it stops there. And then the lowercase is just smaller. Around and stop. So that's the letter C. Now, we have some things in our C bag. I have a lot of things in my C bag, actually. What's this? That's a cup. C -c cup begins the letter C. We have a camel. Camel begins the letter C, too. How about a carrot? Carrot begins the letter C. C -c 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 and a car begins the letter C. How about something you put on your birthday cake? A k -k candle begins the letter C, and so does cake. Cake is delicious. Something you draw with. A crayon begins the letter C. And k -k -k. that's a special kind of bird we have around my house. It's called a cardinal. Cardinal begins the letter C. Oh, and this is a bug, a special kind of insect. This is a big one. <laughs> it's called a cricket. A cricket begins with the letter C. Oh, one of my favorites. A cookie begins with the letter C. How about some? What do you? What are these? Ooh, one of my favorite things. Chopsticks begins with the letter C. Now that's different kind of C sound. That's when you put the C with the H. It makes this sound ch, ch, ch. 
chopsticks, but it still begins the letter C. And Chinese food begins the letter C. I love Chinese food. Hmm. Ooh, here's a different one. You know what that is? That's called a cattail. Cattail begins the letter C. That grows in a marshy area. Cattail. It's kind of soft on the top. Oh, and this has a cork. Corks go in the top of bottles. It's actually from the bark of a cork tree. And cork begins with the letter C. And cotton ball begins the letter C. And one more. <laughs> Caterpillar. Hello. He begins with the letter C, too. So that's a lot of things that begin with the letter C. So that's our letter for this week. Um, oh, I thought we would go on over and see our baby chicks because chicks begin with the letter C too. And they're getting so big. One of them, Lucy, jumped right out of the box this morning. So let's head on over there and we'll take a peek. Come here. Come here. Come here. Climb up. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi, you're getting so big. Come here. Over here. You're getting so big. Come show us how big you're getting. Look. You're getting so big. You've got little tail feathers. Little wing feathers. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here. There you go. There, this is Lucy. Lucy likes to jump. <laughs> Anyways, see her tail feathers? Her little wings? She's getting so big. <laughs> you're getting so big. Yes, you are. Say hi. Yeah, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Can you jump? Okay, jump. Aren't those chicks getting so big? They are so much fun to watch. I'm glad you get to watch them grow with me. Now I thought we'd have our Bible story. So let's do our Bible song. God made me, God made me. In my Bible book it says that God made me. God hears me, God hears me. In my Bible book it says that God hears me. God loves me. God loves me. In my Bible book, it says that God loves me. And our story today is a story that happened right after our Easter story. So Jesus is alive and his friends were so excited. This is a story about some of his friends just learning that. It's called Fish for Breakfast. Late one day, Peter, James, and John and some of Jesus' other friends were together by the Sea of Galilee. I'm going fishing, said Peter. We will go with you, said the others. They sailed out in their boat. They threw their net into the water. And they waited and waited and waited. All night they fished, but they did not catch anything. Early in the morning, they saw someone standing by the shore. He called, Have you caught any fish? No, they yelled. Throw your net on the other side of the boat, the man called. So they threw the net on the other side. All at once, the fish filled the net. John looked at Peter. It's Jesus, he said. Peter was so excited, he jumped into the water and he swam to shore. It was Jesus. He made a little campfire and he cooked fish and bread on it. Come and have some breakfast, Jesus called. They did not have to ask who he was. They knew he was their best friend, Jesus. He was alive. Can you imagine how happy they must have been knowing that Jesus was alive? What a wonderful thing. Let's say a prayer. Hold your hands. Dear God, thank you so much for the wonderful message of Easter and that Jesus is alive. 
And thank you for loving us so much. Amen. Good job. Okay, after our Bible story, let's see. Oh, we're going to learn about some seeds and some bulbs and some signs of spring out in my backyard. <laughs> I wanted to show you some of the beautiful daffodils in my backyard. Daffodils are a sign of spring here in New England. They grow wherever a bulb is planted. Now this is a bulb. It's like a giant seed. But it's a bulb and you plant them in the fall under the ground and nothing happens. They go to sleep all winter long. And then in the springtime, you look out your window and all of a sudden you have these beautiful flowers that are growing that have been sleeping all winter. But then in the spring, they decide to grow and they come from a bulb. These are called perennials. That means you plant them in the fall and you don't do anything all winter long. And then in the springtime, they come up all by themselves. They're called perennials. Now, the seeds that we planted, remember the sunflower seeds? Look at how big they're getting. And our marigold seeds, they're growing too. Lots and lots of them in there. And our pumpkin seeds, there they are. They're called annuals because you have to plant them every year for them to come up. They're not like bulbs. You plant bulbs one time and then they come up every single year. And they grow little babies on them too. So that next year, when I plant this in the ground, I'll get a bulb, a flower here and I'll get a flower here. And then the next year, there might be another little baby on this side, then I'll get three. So every year you get more and more. And our seeds, we have to plant our seeds every year. So every year we plant them and every year they come up. So that's just a couple of signs of spring from my backyard. It's so neat to see all the different signs of spring that are outside now. I love springtime. The whole world is waking up. So I thought we'd end with some songs. I think you need to shake your sillies out first. How about that? I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle the world out of my way. I'm gonna jump, jump, jump my jump. Stretch, touch your toes, stretch, stretch my stretch, she's out, stretch, way up high, stretch, stretch my stretch, she's out, wiggle my <laughs> Oh my goodness. How about, uh, oh, we haven't sung this one in a long time, the wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. And the bus go up. Shh, 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 all through the town, and the daddy's on 
the bus and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Daddy's on the bus and say, I love you, all through the town. And the children on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus go up and down, all through the town. There are so many verses to that song, but we'll just do those for today. How about our caterpillar song? You remember this one? The caterpillar song um, starts like this. I'm a caterpillar, crawl with me. I'm a caterpillar, crawl with me. I'm a caterpillar, crawl with me. Crawl with me, my darling. And then, remember what happens to the caterpillar? God turns him into a cocoon. So he wraps a cocoon around himself. and Something happens while he's in there for two weeks. I'm a cocoon, now what'll I be? I'm a cocoon, now what'll I be? I'm a cocoon, now what'll I be? What'll I be, my darling? And then what happens to the, the caterpillar when he comes out of the cocoon? He turns into a butterfly. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. I'm a butterfly, fly with me. Fly with me, my darling. I love that song. All right. How about um, Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me sat upon his knee. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. There's another verse to that one. Jesus loves the little ones like you, you, you. Jesus loves the little ones like you, you, you. Little ones like you, he loves you through and through. Jesus loves the little ones like you, you, you. Let's try the first verse again. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Jesus loves the little ones like me, me, me. Little ones like me, he sat upon his knee. Jesus loves the little It's time for us to say goodbye, but it was fun seeing seeing you today. Let's sing our goodbye uh, our goodbye song. Well, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Stopping by Good Morning Preschool today. We'll see you next time.